When I had made this all clear to myself, I was much astonished and became very interested to know how this had come about, because I already very well knew that this knowledge had already long before ceased to exist in the reason of the three-brained beings of the earth, and that this venerable Haji could scarcely have heard of it often, and thus have had an interest, as happens among them, gradually formed in him. And indeed, my boy, it has already long ago become proper there to the three-brained beings who have taken your fancy to become interested in only what they often see or often hear about. And whenever they do become interested in something, then this interest of theirs stifles all other being necessities in them. And it will always seem obvious to them that what interests them at the given moment is just the very thing that makes the world go round. When the relations necessary in such a situation had been established between this sympathetic dervish Haji Asvats Truv and myself, that is to say, when he had already begun to talk with me more or less normally without this, so to say, mask, which it has already become fully proper to contemporary beings to wear in their relations with others like themselves, especially when they meet these others for the first time. Then when these necessary relations had been established between us, I asked him, of course in the corresponding approved manner, why and how he had become interested in this branch of true knowledge. Here you might as well know that in general, there on the surface of your planet, on each separate part, during the process of the ordinary being existence of these strange three-brained beings, their own special forms of external relationship with each other have gradually been formed and have passed from generation to generation. And these various forms of mutual relationship among them were formed of themselves after the being property of sensing the inner feeling of similar beings in relation to oneself had become quite atrophied in their psyche, which property must infallibly exist in all beings of our great universe without distinction of form or place of arising. At the present time among them, good or bad mutual relationships are established exclusively only according to outer calculated manifestations, chiefly according to what they call amiability. That is, by empty words in which there is not a single atom of what is called the result of an inner benevolent impulse, such as arises in general in the presences of all beings in direct contact with those similar to themselves. There at the present time, however, one being may inwardly wish another well, yet if for some reason or other this well-wishing being were in some way to express himself to another in words conventionally regarded as not good, then all is over. In all the different spiritualized localizations of the latter, data are invariably crystallized which always by association engender in his common presence the conviction that the former, who as a matter of fact inwardly wished him very well, only exists to do him always and everywhere every kind of what they call vileness. It has become very important there, particularly during recent times, to know every kind of form of verbal address in order to have friends and not to make oneself enemies. The abnormal existence of these strange three-brained beings has not only spoiled their own psyche, but this abnormal existence of theirs has by repercussion gradually also spoiled the psyche of almost all the other one-brained and two-brained terrestrial beings. Data for engendering the aforesaid inner being impulse are not yet formed either in the presences of any of those terrestrial one-brained or two-brained beings with whom these strange three-brained beings who have taken your fancy have long had and still have frequent contact and relations. Although these being data are still formed in the presences of certain terrestrial one-brained and two-brained beings of other exterior forms, 
as for example those named by them tigers, lions, bears, hyenas, snakes, phalangas, scorpions, and so on, who have not had and do not now have in their mode of existence any contact or relation with these biped favorites of yours. Nevertheless, there is already formed in their common presences, thanks of course to the abnormally established conditions of the ordinary existence of your favorites, one very strange and highly interesting particularity, namely, that the enumerated beings, tigers, lions, bears, hyenas, snakes, phalangas, scorpions, and so on, perceive the inner feeling of fear in other beings before them as enmity towards themselves, and therefore strive to destroy these others in order to avert the menace from themselves. And this so happened because your favorites, thanks always to the same abnormal conditions of existence, have gradually become, as they themselves say, cowardly from head to foot. And because at the same time the need of destroying the existence of others has been inculcated in them also from head to foot. And so, when they, being already cowards of the highest degree, are about to destroy the existence of the beings of these forms, or when they chance to meet such beings, who, it must be said, to their misfortune and to our regret, have become at the present time already much stronger than they, physically as well as in other being attainments, then they become afraid, as they say there in such case, to the point of wetness. At the same time, thanks to the inherent need in their presences to destroy the existence of other beings breeding on their planet, they, at such moments, contrive with their whole being how to destroy the existence of these beings of other forms. And as a result of all this, from the radiations issuing from these favorites of yours inherent in their peculiar presences, there are gradually formed in the common presences of these other beings of the aforementioned forms, side by side with the data which should exist in them for engendering the aforementioned impulse of instinctively showing respect and sympathy to every form of being, other data with a special functioning thanks to which the feeling of cowardice, appearing in the common presences of other beings, chiefly in the presences of your favorites, is perceived as a menace to themselves. That is why, whenever these other mentioned one-brained and two-brained terrestrial beings meet with your favorites, they, wishing to escape the danger to their own existence, always strive to destroy the existence of these favorites of yours. There on your planet also, all beings in the beginning, in spite of difference of exterior form and brain system, existed together in peace and concord. And even now, occasionally, one of these favorites of yours perfects himself firstly to the degree of sensing with all his spiritualized parts that every being, or, as is said, every breathing creature, is equally near and dear to our common Father Creator. And secondly, thanks to having actualized in himself being part of adult duty, he attains the complete destruction in his presence of the data for engendering the impulse of cowardice before beings of other forms, in consequence of which these beings of other forms, not 